Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So I've played a little bit off camera here and on a different save file actually. So this is like episode two, second time I played on this particular save file. Um, so I want to try doing some of these different challenges. That's kind of weird. Number 12 there wraps all the way around. Uh, there's a lot of lock challenges and things like that. Let's just start at the very top. I don't know what this is, pitch black. I assume that's going to be like we can't see the map. We don't know where all the rooms are, so yeah, let's go and try this one and see what happens. Lost. Curse of the Darkness. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so this is going to be super dark for the video, but ooh, I like the ambient the little glow bugs or whatever those are. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, watch it, buddy. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of this particular mob. I forget what that's called. It's called like meat or something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that was in the original Binding of Isaac game, and those guys, uh, they're just kind of annoying because they shoot in the four cardinal directions, and that's pretty much the way you shoot, too. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find any items here. No. Um, well, I don't know. It says Curse of the Darkness, but we have a map. We can see where we've been. So that is different. Maybe... Actually, I'm not even sure that now. I know the room is obviously darker, but I don't know what impact that has. Um, other than <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and try finding some more items here. Nope. We got to found our boss room right there. And our item room right next to it. Okay, so that looks like that is number one. Which should increase our shot speed. Yeah, number one tears up. Okay, so our range is really short. But we shoot really fast. So now we need to find some range up items. And this will be pretty good. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll just go to the boss room. We've already got our item on this floor. Ah, the Duke of Flies. Okay. So Duke of Flies is back from the original Binding of Isaac. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, he shoots out a bunch of flies around him. Oh, man. That's pretty much what he does. He flies around, he shoots out flies, and that's about it. Uh, being able to see would be <laughs> a little bit nicer here. I wonder if I go in here in the options. Oh, by the way, I did find where there was control options. It doesn't look like you can do that while you're in the game. You gotta be out of the game. Um, oh no, I wanted that there. Gamma. Can we turn this up? Will that make everything brighter for us? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Let's do 150. Maybe that's too bright. I don't know, but at least we'll be able to see in the video here. Okay, let's stop taking damage. Oh, you know what I just realized? I can't see my health. That's what the difference is. Okay. Okay, that is really scary now. Oh, oh, oh. This Duke of Flies is getting out of control. <laughs> Alright, let's put down a bomb, get rid of the flies, do some damage to the boss. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we'll just kind of back away, get some health up. We'll take the Eternal Heart, which is another health up, and we'll take that heart to regain some health. Yeah, I guess the Curse of Darkness is we can't see our HUD or uh, how much health we have. But we can see the map. That's fine. All right, let's go down. Wait, no. I see there's a heart on the ground over in two up. Let's see if we can get that heart. We'll probably need that. Yep. Yeah. All right. There we go. Now let's go down. Yeah, it's kind of scary not knowing how much health you have. Definitely wasn't expecting that when I chose this challenge. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can also hit like spacebar or whatever to continue so you don't have to watch those animations every single time. It just helps speed the game up a bit. Let's go into this room down here. What is this guy? Is it something... I guess I don't have a bomb. I was going to see. Can I bomb it? Oh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, yes, you can bomb it. Awesome. Okay, so that gave us two bombs and a bunch of money. What's in here? Some spiders. Yeah, we're looking for range up items. That's what we really need at this point. Let's head this direction. I don't want to go into the large room just yet. Okay, it's a tentacle. That wasn't difficult. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we do have to go into the large room. So let's check this out. I might even turn the gamma up a little bit more. Oh man, these guys are going to be super annoying with the short... I might even do that. Okay, so I got rid of a couple of enemies. Yeah, the camera makes the room go everywhere, or I guess 
Uh, being that it's a large room, moving around... Ah, jeez. Yeah, this is really difficult to try and get in there without any range. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're doing... Let's take care of this guy first. Okay. And... <laughs> yeah, this kind of stinks without range. Okay, we got rid of one of them. There we go. Making progress. Just take the enemies on one at a time. Can we do this action? Okay. Got him, got him. Nice. Alright, so it looks like we have a bit of speed and we move faster than those bullets fly. So rushing in, shooting, and then backing away seems to be a decent strategy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come here, little buddy. All right, one or two more shots. Okay, there we go. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad. We can be pretty close proximity. They don't shoot super fast. They don't move around. Aha. Uh -huh. So we got ourselves a key. Uh, there's some hearts back here. I kind of want those. Nice. Okay, so we refilled our health just a little bit. Let's go down. Whoop. Okay, these guys aren't super difficult. Pretty straightforward. And then that fly right there shoots bullets at us or tears or whatever it is that flies shoot. Okay, what's in the chest? Whoa, troll bomb! Get out of here! <laughs> ah, those things are so trolly. Yeah, we'll get the key. Um, yeah, I guess this is the only way we can go. All right, I gotta watch out that I don't get trapped. Whew, the jukes. Okay, let's get this guy down. Yeah, these guys don't move too fast, but they take a lot of bullets to kill. And, all right. Yeah, when we can move faster than the bullets, that's not too difficult to do. Good, our health is getting fuller and fuller. <laughs> I feel better about that. Yeah, I'm not sure what this item is. A little haunt, fear him. All right, it's just a, a follower. Does he do something? I don't know. Hopefully he does something good. All right. You know what, I'm gonna try. I really don't want, oh, can we? Okay, so that is as high as it goes. The gamma's all the way up. We can't make this any brighter. <laughs> I was kinda hoping we could. All right, here we go. Very good, very good. Okay, we got a crazy fly. Okay, not bad. And this looks like a champion version. He's kind of got a color to him. So yeah, that means he drops an extra item, which is awesome. Okay, do we want to trade a bomb for a key? Probably not. Let's go to the boss. All right, so we're fighting against Dingle once again. Yeah, this guy, he does the rush attack. And it looks like he does three in a row. So you got to watch out. Oh, he's being haunted. Oh. Hey, don't touch me. Okay, so there's one, two, and three. And then he goes out of breath. All right, we're getting the AI down a little bit. Oh. All right, he's dead. Nice. We only took a couple of hits. That's not too bad. And that should be health up. And where health is full, we can't pick up those hearts. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and check for some items here. Still looking for a range up. That would be really, really helpful. How are we doing on the map? We've cleared every room. Let's go down. All right. Caves one. Okay, I'm not sure how far we have to go. Oh, geez, that was right in the face. I'm not sure how far we have to go with this Curse of Darkness. Like, uh, <laughs> how many levels we have to go through is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't know how, how long this is going to be. Hopefully, we'll be able to defeat it pretty quickly without it having to retry too many times. Ooh, that was terrifying. Yeah, these guys, you can only shoot at them when they pop up like that. They're a little difficult. Um, okay. So this is going to be fun. We got spiders on the wall. Okay, got them. Just got to get really close and then just let them have it. Okay, not bad. So these mushroom things, can we bust through those? I don't know. Let's try it. Yes, we can. Okay, so that's good to know. Those are kind of like rocks. 
Um, this is a... I can't remember what the name of it is. Basically, you need to have full health in order to get through there. I guess it's just called a challenge room or something. Okay, so we got a little mini dingle guy. Whoop. So he only rushes once. Unlike the boss who does it three times. What is this thing? Purple heart challenge up. Is that good? I don't know if that's good or not. Okay, these guys are fairly weak. It's like three shots takes them down. All right, so there's our boss room. Do we want to do the boss room yet? We haven't gotten our item room yet. I think it'd probably be wise to look for the item room first. All right, we got... These things, these should shoot out coins and such. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a way over there. We don't have flying or anything, so we can't get to it. But in the regular Binding of Isaac, if you saw these purple poops and you left the room and came back, they would just turn into regular ones. So it's kind of like you only get one shot at it, so you might as well pop them as soon as you see them, if you can. And then hopefully you get a chance to collect uh, the coins later. Okay, so we have three keys, and that's going to take two keys to get to that golden chest. Let's move on. We're still looking for our item room. There it is. Oh. Too many bullets, too many bullets. Okay, we got one of those guys down. Oh, jeez. Can you get between the bullets? All right, and the red guys, you can shoot all the time. You don't have to wait, but they do shoot more more of a spread instead of just three at a time. Okay, and you're dead. Good, we needed that heart. Aha, boom. So when I place down a bomb, I can press spacebar to detonate it. Like, it won't detonate until I do that. Uh, also, I believe that gives me five bombs, or at least it did. Yeah, it looks like I have seven bombs now. So that's a pretty good item, if nothing else, just to pick up for those extra bombs. All right, I don't think there's anything else on this floor in particular that we need to go for. Uh, if we get extra keys, I might come back to this room, but I'd rather see those open up my item rooms in the later floors. Let's take on the boss. Widow, oh, two widows, jeez. Okay, we'll do it that way. <laughs> oh man. All right, we're probably gonna die here, but that's fine. We'll do that. <laughs> Get rid of those little spider sack things. All right, we got rid of one widow. Looks like my... Oh, nice. Very good, very good. Yeah, my ghost dude here is taking care of the bosses for us pretty good. So this should be all stats up. Yeah, magic mushroom. We get bigger. So that means we get range. Oh yeah, we can shoot further now. Our bullets do more damage. We get another extra heart. Awesome, let's go down. We should also move faster and all of that stuff. Pretty much every stat is up. Okay, so this is, that's got two, is that two locks? Is that what, does it take two keys? I don't know, that's the first time I've seen that door. Oh, 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 ah, I'm caught on the ledge. All right, this isn't good, this isn't good. We need to take these guys down quickly. There's just too many bullets flying around. They're too random. They can pop up in any spot, it looks like. Okay, we got that guy who shoots straight. Whoop. I'm not sure which more dangerous. The guys that shoot straight or these guys that shoot in, like, a little round formation. All right. Oh, another thing I haven't been looking for. There are secret rooms that you can find. Um, yeah, I haven't even been looking for those at all. Let's go this way. Oh, there's a new enemy bat. Or did I fight one of these before? I can't remember. Ooh. Awesome. Okay. Guess we'll still go this way. Oop, sloth. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, what do we get here? Let's try the pill. Balls of steel. That should give us two soul hearts, which is like armor. The Emperor. This will warp us, I believe, to the boss room. So let's hold on to that until we find our item room. Oh, these guys shoot up the uh, double spider guys when you kill them. All right. Take down the spider. Get a chest. What's in here? 
Half a heart? Okay, we're full on health, which is good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not sure how I didn't take damage there, but apparently I didn't. All right, let's take these spiders down. Okay, one's down. Two's down. Or was that three? I don't know. Anyway, they're all down now. Awesome. Let's try here. Yeah, that damage up from that magic mushroom, that was good. Also, this little ghost guy is really helping out. Oh, great. A whole room full of these guys. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully, we're going to get a good item for this. Okay, two of them are down now. Yeah, the number one plus damage plus range. Ooh, that is good. Okay. Come on, guy. Nice. Is that it? Looks like that's it. Okay, our boss room is here. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, I guess there's only one place that our item room could be, and that's on the left-hand side of that large room up above. So let's go that way. Wait a second. Did I take damage? No. Okay. Oh, we got some of the bomb flies. Oof, that's close. Okay. And we get a key. Not bad. So we got two different ways to go. Let's just go to the left. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like there's walking these guys. Or these guys can walk or whatever. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Okay, just one guy left. Come on. Nice. Uh, let's go up. We're probably going to clear every single room before we find our item room. Oh, there's TNT there. I just noticed it the last second. Okay, so this glowy green guy is putting, like, poison on the floor. We don't want to step in that, I imagine. And... TNT is going to blow that all up. Okay, so... These pills, if I didn't mention it before, can do bad things or good things. And that's a good thing, full health. So, uh, you don't know what they are until you use them. And once you use them, they're always the same from then on. In this particular game, like, you can get a white one this round that's full health. And you get a white one next time that, like, takes away a heart. You never know. Um, oh, fly. Okay, some spiders over here. Spider. Let's take care of the uh, the champion. Okay, so he dropped a battery thing. I found out that those will help recharge your spacebar items if they if you have a spacebar item that needs to be recharged. That's why you can't pick it up. <sighs> crack the sky. Okay, so crack the sky. Just yeah, holy white death. Uh, basically, the only thing that does is shoot down random rays of light, and if it hits something, it'll do something. If it doesn't hit anything, it's just a waste of an item. Alright, so where are we going? We need to go to the boss room, which looks like it's over here. So I guess... Wait, where am I? No, the boss room's down too. And then over. So yeah, first thing I want to do is crack the sky. Hopefully we will hit something. But yeah, generally speaking, it doesn't really do much. Um, Gertie is one of those enemies you can kind of time. Like, <laughs> he does the same thing over and over. Like, when he's preparing to shoot, when he goes back inside, you just kind of walk sidestep him, basically. It was a little too fast on that one. Okay, not bad. Let's take care of these things. Ow. Okay. Stop it. Okay, now I'm picking up these hearts. Okay, so that's speed. Speed up, wooden spoon. Alright, our health is full. Um, we could go to that challenge room. I think we might pop in there. Oh no, that's a one heart challenge room, I think. The one in the upper right hand corner. Let's just go take a peek real quick. See if that door is open or not. It could be different in this version than what I'm used to before. Uh, yeah, we have to go through this large room. Yeah, the door is closed, so I think that's a one heart battle room. Uh, we got a bunch of keys. Let's try going topwards. How many keys does that use? Yeah, it does use two keys to get in here. Okay, and we got a bunch of coins for it. 
that guy doing anything? No, just kind of, just hanging there. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I think we can go and try that item recharge thing. We've used Crank the Sky. It's got one bar. You can kind of see up here by my guy. He's got one green bar there. So if we get that recharge thing, it should recharge it to another use or all the way full. I'm not sure. Ah, all the way full. That is awesome. Okay. So now we know for sure what that thing does. I think it's time just to move on to the next floor. Let's get out of here. We'll walk all the way back. Uh, yeah, through here, down a couple of floors, or down a couple of rooms, and then over. Awesome, let's go down. So we're getting close. We are getting close. I'm doing better than I did last time, I do believe. <laughs> Depths one. Curse of darkness, of course it is. What's in here? Oh. What do you do? Okay. Challenge room. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so we unlock the chest, and then we spawn a whole bunch of monsters for doing that. There shouldn't be any boss monsters, just, I think, tougher monsters than what you find on this floor. Okay, where are you at? So it should do three waves if it's very similar to the way the original Binding of Isaac was. And yes. Okay, so now we gotta deal with these night guys. You can't shoot them from the front. They are completely damage resistant. You have to shoot them from the side or the back. Okay. Woo. Nice. So that should be it. Okay, we need a key as well. Uh, yeah, let's go to the right. I don't really have a particular order in which way I go unless I see something. It's just kind of, I just, whichever way I feel like going. All right. Yeah, those hollows weren't too bad. No more items. All right, these guys, yeah, they're kind of tough. Um, they do a full heart of damage instead of half a heart of damage, or at least they did in the regular Isaac. I don't know if they do here, and we can't tell because we can't see your health. Oh, jeez. Oh, but oh, did they just run to the fire? I think I did. That was kind of derpy. Yeah, put out the fires. These guys can also drop items. Okay, let's range up. Not bad. So we can shoot decently far now with it. Whoa. See, these are like bodiless night guys. Can't shoot them from the front, only from the sides or the back. Not bad. What is making that sound? Oh, it's spiders on the wall. Let's take our heart and item room remote detonator or doctor's remote so it's just a teleport we don't want that it's just a randomly will teleport us around um so that was our item room i think what we should do we should just warp to the boss and get out of here maybe Maybe we'll sit here and fight this guy. Okay. Well, yeah, these guys rush you, that's right. Watch out. Okay, they're not too bad to dodge. I'm actually getting a little bit better, I think, at dodging now. All right, boss time. <clears throat> Monstro 2, okay. So, you used to be able to lock this guy just by going side to side. He'd shoot out that laser beam, and if you, like, got to his other side, right as he was done finishing, firing, <laughs> he would do it again. You could just kind of, like, trap him in his AI doing that over and over again. Alright, well, he's taking a decent amount of damage. Yeah, I guess maybe just fighting this guy from the top and bottom is the way to go now. Oh, 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 watch it. Oh, I ran right into that one. Oh, come on. Okay, so that's range up there. Mom's underwear. We'll go and take that. How far are we, can we shoot now? Pretty decently far. All right, let's go down. So this is the last floor. This should be we'll fight Mom at the end of it.
All right, so let's try going down. All right, these guys just kind of like follow the wall or whatever. Nothing super special. Uh, gave us a bomb. Sure, let's go down. Okay, spikes. How do these work? It looks like they're going up and down. All right, we can walk over two at a time. Not bad. Woo. Woo. Yeah, these leaper guys, I really dislike them. They jump up in the air, and they track you. Wherever you are, they land right on top of you. Okay, these guys shoot laser beams. Okay, these, these guys aren't bad to figure out as far as their AI goes. Like, they point in one direction, charge up, and then they fire. Monstro's too, huh? Summon Monstro, this could be useful. Wait, not for Mom's fight. Um... It might be more useful than Crack the Sky. I kind of feel like Crack the Sky is going to be more useful, even though it's kind of like a crappy item. Uh, I don't know. Whoa, watch it. Oh, touch me. He touched me. There's a heart on the floor back here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Oh, here's the boss right here. This is Mama. Um... Well, I guess this is it. Do we take monster or do we take crack the sky? Uh, da, 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 I don't know. You know what? There's some rooms up here. We have three keys. We could have four if we bomb right here, which we're going to do. Uh, we have four keys. Let's go ahead and check out some of these rooms we can just key into. Wait for those spikes to go back up. Okay. So we might get something good here. So that's a chance of... Your shots being, I want to say transparent, that's not the right word though. Spectral. Piercing shots, that's what it is. Not spectral. Okay, let's try this. Are you a wizard? Oh. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, our shots go diagonal now. So that's a full health build, that's awesome. Okay, um... I'm not sure what the purple heart does. Piercing shots. I don't think I want the piercing shots. Even though it's it's only like a 10% chance, I don't think I want that. Um, oh man. I'm going to take the full health pill. That is definitely ooh, that is definitely something we want, especially if we're going to walk on spikes like that. <laughs> yeah, let's just go down and fight mom. This is the final battle, I think. We haven't unlocked anything yet. I don't think we can do... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't even know how much health I have, so... Oh, man. She's trying to stomp on me. <laughs> we gotta watch out for the foot. These other things are, like, spawning monsters. We gotta watch out for all of that stuff. Okay. Not bad. Once we get all the monsters under control... I'm going to take the full health. I have no idea what my health is, but I don't want to die having a full health pill. Okay, so we can shoot the eyes on any of the corners. Yeah, if we get too close, uh, Mom's hand will come out and slap us. Uh, otherwise, it's Mom's foot that tries to stomp on us. Oh, man. Okay, that's not very helpful. Her eye is cursed down there. I would like to get past mom's foot. <laughs> whoa, 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 this is my first time fighting it in rebirth though. Oh man. Yeah, it is a little difficult, especially if you're not used to it. Come on. Die mama. Nice, we did it. We did it. We did it. Whew. Speedball. Oh, I look super adorable. <laughs> Let's get some health, health, and we get a trophy. I guess that's it, guys. <laughs> I guess we win uh, that particular challenge. Well, it took us one try to get through it. A little dark, sorry about that, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. All right, guys. Uh, remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time.